Welcome back guys, this is Unfinished, the only place where we get to finish and finish matches. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Do not forget to follow us on all social media platforms. Today, we're talking about relationships, which takes us to our third question. Do you think you should publicly announce about your breakup or should you just keep it private? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Well, if you announced when you're starting, then it's good that you announce the end so that we know there's space, somebody can take over. But uh, if not, we don't want to know. We are also in ours, as in Abunzika daily. Yeah, we don't give a damn, so keep it yourself. Uh, that one depends. You know, if first you made it public and the public had a role in your relationship, then you have to make it public. Because they know, because you were notified like, like you are dating, so you must tell them. Second, if you didn't make it public, you were to private. Then akuna haja mneza tujiwekia, because aita usu the public should not be announced online since a relationship is supposed to be between two people and your breakup should be between you two. The world doesn't care if you're together or not and it will not benefit any of you by announcing it online. If you're a celebrity who has been keeping up to date, keeping uh, like your audience up to date with your dating life, what you do, where you are eating, I think you should tell them because now the audience is, co is connected to you in some sort of way. So you told them you're in a relationship, you told them, oh my god guys, I'm so in love, da 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 da, all that. Now when it comes to the breakup, they need to know that this person is no longer part of your life, hence not part of the audience's life anymore. But if you're just a person who's not a celebrity, I mean, you choose whether to put it or not. But if you're a celebrity who has been telling us, if you, op if you opted to keep your life private from, your love life private from the start, then it's not important to tell us. But if you opted to involve us in the relationship, now you have to involve us, involve us in the breakup and tell us why you guys have broken up. Because you can just, oh, I'm no longer doing this with this one. No. I think if, if you are running a private relationship which was not on social media, then I think keep your breakup uh, to yourself. Yeah. Deal with your breakup how you want to deal with it. If you want to post it, post it. Show us. Show us your, your back to the streets. We'll be ready for you. We're ready to welcome you back. They can announce it online. Yeah. Because everyone has a freedom of expression. Okay, it depends. It depends. If you guys were dating online, if people knew you were a couple and you used to just post yourself, and you were like an online couple. So it's okay if you guys announce your breakup. But if you guys were just private and you have issues that you don't want people to see, I prefer private. Personally, I prefer private. I'm a private person. But if you guys were an online couple, why not? I don't think you need to announce it online because like, you know, it can be toxic sometimes. But yeah, I don't think you need to tell everyone, you know, like, what's going on in your life day to day. As for me, and I prefer keep it private too. The moment we announce online, people will give you unnecessary opinions that can lead to many mental issues, na depressions, you know. Kuna, some people kuna watu wali kuna ngoja muachane, and then they talk over, you know. But, yeah, and all, I heard to keep it private. Social media, you know, si kila mtu wa kutakia mazuri. So just keep it private, and you can solve your issues together, maybe, muneza solve na, but the moment we announce online, opinions they start getting your head messing with your mind. And I prefer to keep it private. Keep it private for sure. Yeah. Um, it's it's your business, like there's no need to hide it out to everyone. So just keep it private. Let's say that it is a couple that work on social media, they have like some channels and all that. I think informing people won't be that wrong. But if we are not like for socials, people don't need to know that. You already have that stress, your breakup. Mona word stress on your social media. So it all depends with the couple. Come on, we're social, it's okay. Come on, we're socials. Just keep it to yourself. It is good to, to announce your breakup online because you're opening another opportunity to someone else. Uko free, uko open, mtumigine akam sasa. I think they should keep it to themselves because uh, dating is something that is very, very personal and uh, if, you want to if you want to introduce other people to the relationship by 
announcing your breakup online, then you should be ready for all the things that come after you do that. So, yeah. But I think you should just keep it private and go through the breakup and the healing process privately. I feel like if you publicly announce your relationship, you should publicly announce the breakup because I feel like a lot of people must have been invested, especially if you're like famous or influential or something like that. So you should definitely tell people so that they know if your DMs are free to slide in. Uh, but if you're not, if you did not do that, I do not advise because we're definitely going to come at you like who are you, that does not concern us and stuff like that. Which takes us to our last question. Are you supposed to remain friends with your ex's friends? Let me know what you think in the comment section at y254 hashtag unfinished. I don't see the reason why you shouldn't be friends because one, you may find maybe the family you're going to introduce to, maybe you are going to introduce to a certain thing you are doing, maybe to me a business. Like, just keep the relationship. See, last my girlfriend. As long as Muliachana Vizuri, that's all. It depends on how you break up. Uh, the terms uh, you break up, if it was a bad breakup or a good breakup, since I've heard of people remaining friends after the breakup, actually becoming best friends because of the bond they shared over the months or years they were together. But if it was a bad breakup, I don't see it happening that you'll be friends with the, let's say, the spouse's family and everything, yeah. No, because they came with them, so they have to live with them. Yeah, that's what I think. Because if you guys are still friends, it means that you'll still be updated on your ex and, and you guys still have a connection. So I prefer if you just break everything and just move on, yeah, so no. When you break up with your ex, you're, you're breaking up with your ex. It's a relationship between you and your ex. It's not between me and your friends. Yeah. So unless you force your friends to leave me, Basi, yeah, I'm keeping the friends. Friends with my ex's friend, family and friends. Yeah, if I got a good friend because of you, it's just like meeting you and then knowing you and then you introduce me to Brenda and then I'll get to know Brenda and we become friends. When you're out of the equation, it does not mean that you have to go with Brenda. Because of you, you made us friends, but now you leave. I have a friend because of you, go away, I'll keep the friends. If you, now the family part, you know, for Oko and Kidobo. But then if you cannot, it can never remain the same. I say. So it's better if you just keep it apart. Dogo, they will always blame you for something, those people. I think it depends on how the breakup was, but like if your new partner isn't comfortable with it, then maybe like you know you just see like which one you care about more you if you care about the new partner you should let it go but like nowadays some people like you know they can stay friends and it's okay so it depends no i don't because if you're breaking contact with them it's unhealthy to remain with some bit because that will only it's like keeping a door open if you're closing it close it if unless you guys had had those mutuals before you were dating if you guys had those mutuals, you can still remain friends. But if you only knew them because you are dating that particular person, then you are no longer dating that person. So let them just remain an acquaintance, not your friend. Yet they should be just someone you know. Me na like you okay? As for me, na kwa friends no. My ex ngo kwa me na kwa question no. Ju na kwa poa because ju pata kwa shida. Ona ju kuna ingine kuna ju kuna maxi su ingine na ju ngai your weakness and your strengths. But the moment we are at the we are to be able to Yeah, sure. You can remain friends with the ex. It depends on what they did to you, uh, like the rate of the outbreak. Like, uh, let's say if the, the, the ex was so toxic, like uh, we, are, we are very, very we are toxic, then I, I think. There's no need for a clinician no more, but if you guys ended in a good town, then you guys can be friends. Let's say that they have that relationship, maybe before me, <laughs> but it, it was after me. I don't see the need to make sure China, so what are you doing together? And obviously that question will pop up like, oh, so there's no need to be friends. Yeah, to make China, to China, everything. No. At a spread rumors. Ex and as a create story and bonam liachana na at a rumors. So uh, a kechana mimi, a china watuangu, a china familiangu, 
because I'll go connected na mimi, see wow. No, my ex is not allowed to keep in touch with my family and friends. Uh, reason being, um, most especially my family, if we break up, do not uh, try to communicate with my family because I introduced you to my family, therefore, there's no way you'll be communicating to my family when we are not together. It would be very, very weird and awkward. But to my friends, you can communicate with my friends. Maybe you guys need your friendship aside from the friendship that we had with the friends. So yeah, with my family, no, but with my friends, it's okay. I feel like these are different relationships and breaking up with you does not mean my life is going to stop. We could have had uh, other relationships like business and I don't have any problem contacting them as long as we don't have bad blood. You know, the problem was me and you and not them. If anything, my ex's best friend could have been my soulmate. He never knew. We have come to the end of the show. Thank you for watching. I am your host, Eske Gitonga. See you next time.